Hi everyone, I'm Kat and I'm back with another perfume video for you today. And today we're gonna to talk about Baccarat Rouge 540 and three alternatives that are going to save you some money if you don't wanna spend the money on Baccarat. And in my opinion, these three smell better than Baccarat Rouge 540. So um, if you're interested in hearing about my thoughts on these fragrances, then please stay tuned, <laughs> stick around. <laughs> anyway, all right, so um, I just want to talk about Baccarat first. Um, I do not own Baccarat. I did, um, I heard about it a lot. I've been hearing about it. So like a year ago, I went to Saks and I'm like, let me buy this fragrance already. Let me just get it. And I smelled it and I, needless to say, I didn't love it. And instead I ended up purchasing from the same designer, Mason Francis Kirkjan, who is an Armenian French designer. I purchased his fragrance, Oud, which is a whole other situation that we will discuss in another video. Um, but this is stunning as well. This is just Oud. And um, this is a darker fragrance. I wear this for fancy occasions and evenings only. This is not a daytime fragrance. So, um, but Mason Francis Kirkjian has so many um, exquisite perfumes, I can't even say. Okay, but back to Baccarat. So I'm sorry I don't have the container of Baccarat to show you, um, because again, I don't own it, but it is a synthetic fragrance. Um, it was inspired by the French um, crystal chandelier called Baccarat, which I thought was really, really interesting. So basically he wanted to encompass all of the things that the, the French crystal uh, Baccarat stands for, and then he wanted to evolve with time, this fragrance, and to put it into one container that's going to continuously like evolve and change with time while being so beautiful, crystal, bright, and luminous, which I think is is exciting. So um, anyway, he's the nose behind many other um, name brand fragrances, um, designer fragrances rather. And yeah, there's just, it's a whole list. So, but yeah, his fragrances are insane and I can't say enough good things. However, I just don't own this one. So um, Baccarat Rouge 540, um, it's a unisex fragrance and it retails for about $325 for 2.4 fluid ounces, depending upon where you purchase it from. And um, according to Fragrantica, they say that it is woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, animalic, and metallic. I could agree with all of those things. This is a synthetic chemical based fragrance, which some people like and some people don't. And um, basically chemical based fragrances, they kind of, they, they don't contain like the essential oil. So it's going to be more of like a chemically smell. And, um, some people don't like that, but, uh, basically the notes for this one are going to be saffron, grandiflorum, jasmine from Egypt. You have the heart notes being amberwood and ambergris, and then the base notes are fir resin and cedar. You also get in bitter almond from Morocco, um, and musk and wood. So it contains ambroxan, which is a chemical that it's a chemical compound um, that basically composes the scent of ambergris and ambergris is added to the scent to make it last longer. So, um, but yeah, I think, I think it's a wonderful, a wonderful fragrance and it's cool that it's unisex and it's different. It's absolutely different, but I wanted something that was like even more different than all of these. So I'm like, you know what, let's, do a little research and see what we can find. So I did, and I did you good. Um, I'm going to go over these fragrances in the order in which I feel that they smell to Baccarat Rouge 540. And the first one that I'm going to start with comes from the house of Latafa, which is from the UAE. And I've done a couple of other fragrances by Latafa. And this one is called Ana Abiyed Rouge. And this one um, is about 2.04 fluid ounces, and you can get this on Amazon for about $26. It's beautiful, it's stunning, and I love this one. And I love that it is, um, it's affordable. And it smells very similar to Baccarat, but it's a little bit more oaky. So here she is, stunning, if you can see that. I love the design. beautiful absolutely beautiful i think i showed it backwards first but anyway it's super cute love it it um i would say it's a medium lasting fragrance it's not one that's going to like carry all throughout the day but if you spray it on your clothes it will and like i said before with another fragrance it also doesn't leave those like marks on your shirt which i think is really really good so um but yeah you spray it everywhere and girl you're gonna smell good but this is again this is unisex it could be worn by either gender it's most beautiful like it's, I can't say enough. Okay, 
So um, it has many similar notes as the Baccarat Rouge. So it has bitter almonds as the top notes, uh, along with saffron and the ambergris. So you see that as well. The heart notes are jasmine and cedar, and the base notes are musk, wood, and ambergris again. So it is pretty darn similar. Um, it has like most of the same things. Um, but yeah, for $26 from the House of Latafa, I think you just can't beat it. Um, according to Fragrantica.com, they say that it is um, aromatic, citrus, fruity, amber, fresh and spicy, and animalic, aquatic, leather, musky, and woody. I agree with all of these except for the aquatic. I don't, I don't smell anything that um, leans towards like marine or like ocean clean crispness. I, Crisp, yes, not ocean though. So um, yeah, but it's a little different than the Baccarat um, in that it does smell a little bit more, it has a little bit more of the Middle Eastern DNA. No oud, I don't smell oud, but more musky. So yeah, and cedary and oaky. So I like this guy. This one's beautiful. Definitely give this a go if you're in the market for Baccarat or you just don't want to like travel with expensive Baccarat. Um, this is a good option. So the next one I discussed yesterday in my... Um, my video. This is um, by the House of Ajmal, which is Arabic for pretty or beautiful. And this is Aristocrat. And this was um, mentioned by Harush. Um, you can find her on Instagram. She's my favorite makeup artist and um, YouTuber. And her, her Instagram name is styled by Harush, so you can check her out. But this is stunning. Oh, I left the lid. Hello. So there we are. This is Aristocrat. And this is beautiful. This is very similar to Baccarat, very similar to the Ana Abiyad Rouge, yet it's a little bit on the sweeter side. And initially when you spray it, it has a little bit more of an alcohol base to it, but that dries down and it immediately goes away. So it's like, love this one. As I said before, this one is my baby and I take it with me everywhere and I can't get enough of it. I, like I said, I would bathe in it and like, I just, I love it. I even sprayed my face accidentally yesterday and it was okay. So yeah, highly recommend. This one's gorgeous. I'm um, just going to go through it real quick since I talked about it yesterday though. Um, so also from the UAE, it's about $40 on Amazon for two and a half fluid ounces. Um, I mentioned the top notes are watermelon, lime, and bergamot, which I don't really smell too much, but maybe the bergamot. Um, the heart notes are musk, lily, and jasmine. Definitely smell those. And the base notes for this guy are musk, abagar, wood, amber, patchouli, and cedar, which I can smell all of those. So Anyway, if you, um, this one is different than the Baccarat though. It has, both of these two are different. This one, a little bit sweeter, um, a little bit spicier, and a little bit more of the Middle Eastern DNA. So um, there she is. She's beautiful though. Highly recommend. And the last one, the third one, this one is still in the family of fragrances that do smell like Baccarat Rouge, but yet this one is gives something extra just like the other two do as well. Um, this one comes from the house of Al Haramain, and this one is called Amber Oud Ruby Edition. Now, when you purchase this fragrance, you can get it on Amazon. You have to be careful because there are many, um, I think there are four other fragrances that are also in the Amber Oud collection. However, they're different. There's like a tobacco one, there's a gold one. So you just have to get the, the Ruby Edition. That's the one you want. So, um, Basically, Ahramein means um, two sacred sanctuaries for like the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. So this is produced in the UAE, so another Middle Eastern fragrance. And this is Amber Oud Ruby Edition. This one, let's just unbox it if you can see it. I really love the packaging. It's so nice, like what? And it's really, really pretty. So that's the front. And then the back is the rouge color, which is really, really pretty. And this is 3.4 ounces and it retails on Amazon for about $70. So um, the top notes, this is a really simple guy. Um, the top notes for this one are bitter almond and saffron. Your heart notes are gonna be cedar and Egyptian jasmine and your base notes are woody, ambergris and musk. So it's similar, very, very similar to the other three, four considering the Baccarat as well. Um, and according to Fragrantica, it is warm, spicy, it is, um, let's see, woody, almond, metallic, animalic. It is leather, fruity, tobacco, nutty as well. 
um, and amber. So definitely, I smell all of these. This one has, I would have said oud to it, but it really, it doesn't have oud. It's the cedar that you smell. So it's a little bit more woody than all of the other ones. And you definitely get that, that leather. This one's really, really beautiful. Um, and the tobacco I smell too. Stunning, 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 stunning. So these, um, yeah, I really, really like this one. I need to add this back into my rotation of ones that I need to be wearing more often because I really, really like this one. So anyway, um, so those are my three favorite Baccarat Rouge similar perfumes. Um, there are quite a few other ones out there, but these are the ones that I favor. And you know, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Um, and as I've said before, if you have any feedback or anything that you want to see, I'm, I know I'm kind of going through my Middle Eastern collection first because I figured like, let me kind of group my perfumes. Um, and then I'm going to be diving into my French, Italian and American designers. So that'll be next. But Anyway, I hope that this was helpful for you if you're in the market for some more affordable perfume or just something different. And for me, it just, these are probably like my, I want to say they're, they're my favorites when I'm in the mood. I want to smell bougie, but not like, like, I don't know, heavy, like just when sexy, when I want to smell sexy, bougie, sexy, and just like beautiful. So, um, these are giving. They're giving everything that I love in a perfume. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And as I mentioned before, if there's anything you want to see or anything at all, please do let me know. And I just want to mention that this is a positive, a positive channel. Like for me in 2023, I decided like only positivity in my life, only positive vibes, only positive things, which is one of the reasons why I created this channel because it is something like that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to, um, I love perfume. I'm a collector, an avid collector. I have so many and I can't wait to share them all with you. I'm like, I'm truly passionate about perfume and the research and just everything. And um, but yeah, it's a positive space and I, if, if you're not into it, that's fine too. You don't have to like it, but, um, for those of you who, who stick by me and who like it, I want to thank you so much for your support and your kindness and compassion. And anyway, I hope this video finds you doing well. I hope you have a blessed day and thank you again for watching. Mwah.